Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. We're going to use the Cosmic Tarot for your bonus read. Okay, let's get stuck into it. I think sometimes just sitting shuffling is quite peaceful for me. I'm not a fan of watching everybody else shuffle, though, but I actually don't mind doing it myself. All right, let's see what's going on in the bonus world. Oh, okay, not ready. There it is, beautiful. All right, so we have the Five of Swords coming out. Now, the Five of Swords is a card that talks about, can talk about being self-centered, self-focused, wanting to win at all costs. It's very often a card you see when you are walking away from some sort of battle or some sort of fight or argument where you feel like you've won, but there's an empty feeling that comes after it. And some beautiful viewer wrote to me some time ago and said that's called a Pyrrhic victory or Pyrrhic victory. There's always this energy that, okay, I've got what I wanted. This is fabulous, but does it make me feel any better? More than likely not. So it's sort of this empty win. Let's see what's coming after that. Okay, the world. All right, okay. This is going to be a continuation of the What's Cracking reading, I would say, just by looking at that. I feel like you're walking away from things here. I'm not necessarily feeling that you're walking away from things because it's something you really want to do, but maybe you're realizing it's best for you now because there's very much this energy of making a decision. Perhaps you're in a relationship that doesn't serve you. Perhaps you have a family situation where you're constantly fighting to be heard. There is something here that perhaps doesn't feel incredibly good to you, but it's best. Now, it always reminds me of smoking. Um, bringing up a personal journey of trying to give up smoking for many many years and I used to say to people it's really difficult because actually I really enjoy smoking but what it came down to in the end was not so much the enjoyment of it it was more about my health and finding that balance between releasing what I wanted to have in my life and understanding it wasn't good for me so for example you know, you might be overweight and it might mean that you have to cut out cakes and biscuits and it's not necessarily a nice thing that you want to do, but you know your health relies on that. Maybe it's, you know, giving away alcohol because you know that you're drinking too much, but maybe it's not feeling good to give away alcohol. Maybe you like to drink. So it's that is the balance of walking away from something that you are not necessarily happy to walk away from. Maybe you keep looking for the good in it. Maybe you keep struggling to understand why it's not suiting you, why it's not good for you. And maybe you keep hanging on to things in I feel perhaps for some of you here, you're hanging on to a relationship that has gone past its use by date. Whatever it is for you, you are definitely closing out a cycle here with the world. So I feel like it goes a lot deeper. And I know I've used those very sort of basic explanations, but I feel like it goes a lot deeper than that. Because I feel like whatever you're doing here is keeping you trapped from having what you want, but you just haven't got it yet. You understand you have to give something away. You have you understand you have to let go of something. You know you've got to close this cycle. But there might be a something in it for you that is sort of limiting you from making this decision. Oh, wow. Okay, for some of you, it's definitely a choice with a relationship or in love. But there's a really strong feeling here that you may be... Uh, you may be in a situation that is holding you back from the love you want. You may be in a situation thinking, well, it isn't that bad. It, this good on these counts. But you may be sacrificing something else at that cost. Because I feel like this is sacrificing something. But I feel like for some of you, it is about a relationship. See, it's keeping you trapped in the Eight of Swords energy. This has been stuck in your head going round and round. There's some victim mentality with this as well. So maybe you're hanging on to something because you're going, this is all I deserve or this is all I, I should have. 
Maybe you're not understanding that perhaps there's something more out there that would suit you more. There's something going on in that energy. Six of Swords coming through. You are moving away from something. Okay, so I do have the Moon card here. So I feel like you are going to move away from something because you're starting to get an understanding of how to move away from an energy that's keeping you trapped. This is very devil energy again. But I feel like here with the Moon card here, Seven of Pentacles, there's something about not being sure about your future. So maybe you're worried about letting something go because then you would be without that thing and that makes you scared of your future. Maybe you're feeling if you let something go or you move away from something, maybe you've always thought that, pers that person, that situation represented who you were. So maybe you're attached to somebody or something that rep you feel makes you feel whole and complete but maybe that's not the case because you need to feel whole and complete in yourself but you're avoiding making this decision because for some unknown reason this is holding you back for some of you it could be financial for some of you it could be about status about how you look in your community how you look in your family there is something here that is saying you're not moving away from this because of a situation rather than because of it's what you want. Nine of Wands here. So there is definitely this feeling of repeating a pattern with the Nine of Wands. So maybe you've gone round on this more than once. Maybe you're cycling a situation. You may be always going into a job, for example, where you feel really unhappy in your work. You could be always cycling in relationships where you're getting relationships that don't fulfill you. There is something going on here because you're cycling an energy. All right, so we have here the Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Cups with the Magician. See, you're holding yourself back from manifesting what you want. I, I just feel for some of you here, you may be like settling. You, you're settling somehow. So you're, you're maybe condoning something or putting something right in your own head by maybe saying, well, it's not that bad. Or it could be worse. Or I could have nobody. Maybe a person is better than nobody. But you're, you're sort of settling for something because perhaps some aspect of that situation fulfill you. Even if you feel unfulfilled on other levels. So if you're in a loveless relationship, for example, where somebody is supporting you, maybe helping you pay for your home, maybe you've got a family with that person, maybe not. But if you're in that situation but you feel completely unfulfilled by the relationship, then it's time to move on. But for some unknown reason, you're hanging on to something because it fulfills something within you. You're not satisfied. Look, there we go. So we've got quite a lot of repeat cards here from the What's Cracking reading. See, there's a husband. So I feel like it is a husband for some of you. Five of Wands, you're going backwards and forwards on this. You're very dissatisfied with this Four of Cups. And you may not be manifesting what you want. So you may be in some sort of situation here where you're trying to bring in what you want, but nothing's happening. Because your energy is going like up and down all the time. So you may be in a low vibration at the moment because you're not happy or satisfied where you are. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands coming through with the Prince of Swords and the Princess of Swords. Wow, okay. So what I feel like here is a lot of you are going to be trying to maybe seek out somebody to talk to about this, maybe trying to get information to help you see how to do something differently. I feel like you know you need to make change. I feel like you're aware that change needs to happen. But some reason here, you're avoiding the change. You're either fearing the change or scared of the change. You have the Ace of Wands here. So there's definitely a new start for you. And there is definitely something that needs to be cut out here. But it can't, it's like you can't 
quite grasp how to do this because this five of swords energy is it really is about walking away from something for the reasons that you need to that may not necessarily mean you want to but there's this energy of knowing that it's right for you that really gives rise to codependency here it really does give rise to codependency. All right, let's have a dig a bit deeper. Okay, so you are stuck in a situation that you know you need to walk away from, but you're not necessarily happy about doing that because you know some sort of cycle needs to be closed down. For some of you, it could be about a relationship, but I also feel this is perhaps holding you back from what you want. There's stuck in your head energy here. Maybe some victim mentality. Maybe that's why you're staying where you are. The Six of Swords says to me, you will move away. Even if you don't have all the information, you're prepared to take that step here because you're planting seeds for the future. Sort of learning to let go of something here to come into the Ten of Cups energy. All right, let me just get some more information here. All right, so we have the Four of Wands coming out. This is about your stability. Three of Pentacles. A lot of repeating cards from the What's Cracking reading here. All right, Ten of Wands. Cycle closing out as part of a soul contract. Ace of Swords. That's what you want to see. So you have two Aces coming through here. I feel like you may be getting messages from Spirit here. You may be getting messages from spirit. You may also be getting messages on the 3D plane. So people might be saying to you, why are you dealing with this? Why are you putting up with this? What's wrong? And you may be condoning that. You may be able to make excuses up here because there's sort of this energy of, of defending yourself and it's not necessary. Who are you defending yourself against? Only yourself. There is a truth coming in here, something that's going to make you see things from a different perspective, because I see you closing down this cycle. So you're starting to see it for what it is. There's some sort of truth coming through. This is part of some sort of soul contract here, and it's to do with your stability. So maybe some of you think that you're more stable where you are, but when you move on, you will realize you were never really stable. It was just an illusion here. Oh, look at this. Self-love. So you're going to understand here. This does feel like codependency now. You're going to understand here something. You're going to understand how to close things down. You've got three aces here. Something has to be closed down as part of your soul contract. So I want to say to you, it's time. It's done, it's dusted, it is not serving you anymore, you're unhappy and you're finding excuses not to move away from it and close out a cycle. But what Spirit is saying here is you close out the cycle, you're actually going to feel much better because you're going to be more stable in yourself. But you're not putting yourself first here. You're making excuses and putting other things before you. Something is coming to light because there's great change required here. And you're not manifesting the life you want. It's like you're constantly dealing with your own demons. You are fighting with yourself here. But all I see ahead of you is abundance. And all you've got in your life at the moment is dissatisfaction. You need to move from that energy into this energy. Ten of Pentacles energy. So there is a promise of better things to come. But you've got to make a decision first to close out some sort of cycle. All right. Oh, how funny. Look at this. Same card that came out for the What's Cracking read. It talks about being childlike, approaching everything with a sense of childlike wonder. We have fragmented energy coming through for the card for this reading. Okay, so it's energy six. too many pieces this card shows a woman wading through high water with puzzle pieces all around her she is part of the puzzle and her own picture is not complete 
Like the woman on the card, you might not feel like, oh wow, like the woman on the card, you may feel like you're pushing against the current with the little pieces of your life all over the place. This card reveals a split in your energy and your attention. You may have too much to do with the tasks of your personal and work life completely taking over. If you're hurrying through life and frantic about getting everything done, you are fragmenting your energy. Balance is necessary now. It's time to slow down, reduce your have-tos and give yourself a break. If you don't, your agitated energy will block the very achievements you're working so hard on. The other messages here is that you may be looking at too many options when considering future projects. You have lots of good ideas that take you in different directions, but this indecision splits your energy, slows you down or stops you completely. Make some specific choices and set up a plan. Choose the path that calls to your heart. You can always change things up later, but now is the time to focus, not fragment your energetic power. There you go. Spot on again. Thanks.